Hello! Today we are doing a little updated breaches collection because apparently one isn't enough and I have a shopping problem. I have lots of breaches. I'm just gonna do a little try on clip, give you like a little mini review of them, and talk a little bit about them. I'm gonna start with riding tights and then go on to show breaches and then go on to the rest of my breaches. They aren't really in any specific order. I don't really didn't really know how to order them so it's just whatever I pick up. So I only have two pairs of riding tights and they're both from Aztec Diamond Equestrian. The first pair I have are these ones. These are their older type so they're not like the remodeled redesigned ones and if you want like an in-depth review on these I did do an Aztec Diamond review a little bit ago that I will put somewhere for you to watch. These are okay. They're super cute. The color's really cute and they have like a cute little zipper pocket and mesh on the leg which is a nice little touch and they have their name on the back which is also really cute and I do like the way they look and they are very comfortable but they're not very flattering. They make me feel very self-conscious. I think just because the color is so light and the material is so thin so they just kind of like show everything that you don't want people to see. I think if you're not self-conscious and you don't care or whatever like these would probably be great. They're super cute but I'm just pretty self-conscious and I don't really like to wear these with anything except like maybe like a more oversized shirt that I can kind of like hide stuff with. And then the other pair I have from Aztec Diamond is their newer version so these are like the redesigned ones that have knee patches the knee patches are kind of pointless they're not super sticky they kind of don't do anything but they do make me feel more like these are riding pants they're not just leggings and i do feel more comfortable in these not like material wise like they're both pretty much the same material and they're both super comfy but just i feel more comfortable with myself in them I think because they're a darker color, they just don't let stuff stand out as much. But I love these for summer. They are so comfortable and they don't show sweat and they're so great. I love them for summer and they look really cute with like an oversized tied up t-shirt. And during the winter, I wore them with a lot of like sweaters, which also looked cute. Moving on to show breeches, I have two pairs. These are the Sport Horse Lifestyle Dubai breeches. They are very comfortable. I love them. I got these from the Trident Equestrian, lightly used, and I got them for like $40 and they retail for $80. They do stain really easily. They have like saddle stains from my dressage saddle, but they're very cute. They have a little geometric knee patch and they have a cute little X belt loop on the back. They're not super breathable. They're like a cotton material. But I actually really like it because they're super comfortable to wear for like the whole show day. They're a little see-through, but they're not terrible. And I just really love them because they're super comfortable. And they're also pretty flattering. I feel like white breeches, it's very easy to feel self-conscious in because like they hide nothing, you know what I'm saying? But these are actually fairly flattering. The other pair that I have are these Brook Legacy Equestrian ones. These are the most see-through pants I've ever put on my body. When you're riding, you can't really tell that they're see-through. So I don't actually hate them. They're super cute. They have a cute little zipper pockets. And I really like them. And they're high-rise, which I absolutely love. The only thing about these that I don't like is that they kind of irritate my thighs, like my inner thigh area. I do have super sensitive skin, so like anything can kind of irritate my skin. I think just like the material kind of just, I don't know, for some reason gets my legs a little not happy. While we're on the subject of Brook Legacy Equestrian, I do have another pair of the same breeches in this royal blue color. I love these. These don't irritate my legs as bad, but I think it's just because when I wear them, I'm wearing them for like a couple hours while I'm at the barn and then taking them off, not for the whole day. They're the same thing, pretty much the same thing I have to say about them. They're super comfy, other than the irritating of my thighs. I really love the color because it's like classy and like kind of like navy vibes but it's not just navy so i like that because navy is kind of boring i do have so many pairs of navy bridges though but i just like that these are a little different but not so different that they're like in your face the next pair are these riding sport i don't know the name of these and i know that they don't sell them anymore but i adore these i got these off poshmark i just got them like a little bit ago they have a really cute little blue stripe on the side and their knee patches are just little circles and I got a 28 and I normally get a 30 but I have um, been getting a little skinnier recently 
been going to the gym all the time and I ride like five horses a day so I actually fit into these very well and I actually think I'm going to start getting 28s in all of my breeches and they're so comfortable and also they don't show sweat I sweat a lot okay this is going to be TMI little TMI warning I sweat a lot like my lower back area especially when I'm riding and it's hot and these don't show sweat there next I do have a pair that are super in your face I like never wear these these are John Whitaker Miami bridges and they're this really bright teal color they're a little much I got these during the summer when I was trying to be like adventurous and I got them for pretty cheap from the UK so I don't I didn't like mind buying them because they were like 30 or 40 dollars which is pretty good they do stain really easily i don't know if you guys can see the stains but they stain very easily and they're not like my favorite they're a little too low rise for me and all that but they are fun for when you want to like i don't know be in someone's face or something i don't know i don't hate them i think for like the price they're actually super good and if you're a more adventurous person than me like i've worn these like maybe five times but if you're a more adventurous person than me you'd probably love these they're just a little too out there for me to wear like consistently but when I did wear them I did get compliments on them next I have these I recently got these I got these from used horse stuff which I love them they're like a consignment thrift store type thing these are carrots affinity breeches I love carrots breeches I hate their riding tights but I love their breeches um they're supposed to be for like summer they're supposed to be like ice fill whatever like they're a little thick in my opinion for summer they're super like structured which i actually adore with breeches because i feel like it makes my like makes me look like a skinny legend and i don't know they make my butt look really good also they're black so they're like basic but they have cool little features they have like cute kind of i don't know triangle knee patches and the knee patches actually really work. I could actually feel them like sticking to the saddle. And the pockets are actually deep enough to hold my phone while I'm riding, which is fantastic. And they also fit me really well. I got a medium and they fit me perfectly everywhere. The next pair are RJ Classics Golf Breeches. So these are one of my favorites. I love the color. I think it's super fun and cute. The only thing is they're very big. I got a 30 and normally 30s fit me pretty good. I'm like right in between a 28 and a 30 and it drives me crazy. But these are like huge for a 30. But overall I really love them. I think the color makes them a lot more fun because they are pretty basic breeches. They just have like a suede knee patch and they're pretty basic. But I love the color and this color with like a black shirt looks beautiful. And they're so comfortable. The material is... I don't even know how to explain it. It's like super athletic-y and like sweat wicking and nice. And I feel like I can wear these like any season of the year. They are a little pricey. I think they're one of the more expensive pairs of breeches I have. I actually got them on sale, so I didn't pay that much for them. But I think they retail for like $160, which is a little pricey, especially because they're so basic. But they are very comfortable, so I would recommend. I have another pair of carriage breeches. These are on the actual verge of just falling apart. I've had these for like two years. These are Carrots Crossover Breeches. They discontinued this color for some reason, which makes me so upset because I wanted to buy another pair, but I can't. I love these. I wear them, well, I used to wear them nonstop, but then they kind of started to fall apart. They're kind of pilling here, and they've gotten thinner, like, over time, and I'm very afraid that they're going to, like, just totally rip and give up on me, but they're so comfy they're like the thickness of riding tights but they have the structure of breeches and for summer they are the best breeches on the planet these are another favorite pair of mine these are the Ariat olympia acclaim breeches i got these from the try to question i wanted these for a long time and i can never justify spending that much money on them i think they retail for like 200 something dollars but i got them from the try to question for like 70 i think and i love them so much they're so cute and beautiful and amazing I did size up in these I got a 32 and I normally am a 30 or 28 but Ariat breeches fit me so weird like they run so small for me I don't know why but I love these and the white stitching is so cute with like a white I have a white Lululemon tank top that I love wearing these with because it looks so cute also it's like America colors you know gotta represent even though she's a little bit of a mess right now next I have these these are George Morris breeches. So little story time, I bought these not really knowing who George Morris was. And then I looked him up and then I was like, oh, might not want to represent that. So I don't wear these very often. I actually don't know why people still sell these breeches. I actually bought these fairly recently 
and I only knew like that George Morris was like a trainer but I didn't know the whole safe sport thing that went down with him so it makes me a little uncomfy to wear these lastly I have these these are the whores Nordic performance bridges whoever we got into talking about this at the barn the other day whoever named the brand whores obviously never like said it out loud because it sounds like whores it's not whores it's whores but it's like it sounds you know what I'm saying I like these but I kind of hate them I hate the way they make my waist look but they are very comfortable and they're kind of cute they have little like piping and their logo on the back belt loop and I really like when the back belt loops have like a cool thing like this one's super thick or like when they have like an X or whatever I think it's cute they have a full seat and it has cute little stuff on it it says like succeed and ride and shine not rise and shine ride and shine and then it has their logo and it has cute stuff on it I do like these I just, I don't know, for some reason they make my waist look a little weird to me. Alright guys, that is all. I hope you enjoyed. I feel like this video is very positive because like I've gotten rid of a lot of breaches that I don't like. Mostly thanks to the Tread Equestrian. I kind of sent those girls away and got paid for it. Not sponsored. I just really love the Tread Equestrian. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you later. You should subscribe, but no pressure if you don't want to. Okay, bye.